You've seen me feature other Spiegel World shows on this channel before. When we were in Atlantic City, you saw The Hook. When we were in Vegas, you saw us feature Opium. Now we're gonna be checking out Atomic Saloon in the Palazzo. Palazzo Venetia, whatever you wanna call it. Anyway, we are just heading out there right now, second floor. We love Spiegel World shows. They are super raunchy, super dirty. Not for the faint of heart. You gotta have a bit of a naughty sense of humor. Anyway, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film in there. I'll try and get you a few clips as much as I can at least. And at the end, I'll give you my final thoughts as usual, let you know how we saved about 30 bucks to see this show. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you stick around. See you at the end. All right, we are heading up the escalator here. I am told we can film a little bit without flash, but I'm gonna do my best to give you guys a few fun shots. Just to give you a taste. I don't wanna spoil it for you guys. At the end of the day, I want you guys to come and check out the show. Um, stay tuned. Atomic Saloon Show plays in a small Wild West themed venue inside the Grand Canal shops at the Venetian Resort in Las Vegas. I love this as soon as you walk in. It's just, you feel so immersed by this Wild West theme. It's awesome. You explore a maze of bars, private dining rooms, balconies, booths. It's just such a, a cool venue. Now the Atomic Saloon Show is very similar style to other Spiegel World shows that you may or may not have seen. Uh, I think it's very much like a, a variety show. It's hosted by Madame Boozy Skunkton, who's this sort of brash, funny, very dirty <laughs> type host. Uh, very, again, very similar to if you've seen Absent, The Gazillionaire, or you know other shows like that that uh, Speaker World has put on. Um, basically, her staff are gonna perform different acrobatics, comedy, different variety acts on this very tiny, central stage in the middle. Again, very similar to Opium if you saw it before or uh, Absent at uh, Caesar Palace, for example. The show actually premiered in Scotland in the Edinburgh Fringe Festival in August of 2019 to absolutely rave reviews, five-star reviews from uh, you know a number of publications. Uh, and because of this, it immediately transferred to its permanent location in Las Vegas at the Grand Canal Shops in September of 2019. Now, up until Opium's closure on December 31st, 2023, Speak World actually had three shows going on the Las Vegas Strip consecutively, which is really awesome. Uh, again, Opium did close at the end of 2023, which was very, very sad to hear, but they will be opening another show in the link called Disco Show in summer of 2024. So I definitely can't wait to go and check that one out. That also means there will be three concurrent Speak World shows on the Las Vegas Strip once again. <sighs> All right, you guys, what can I say about Atomic Saloon? If you are looking for good, wholesome, family-friendly entertainment, this is not the show for you. Atomic Saloon is dirty, it's raunchy, it's vulgar in like all the best ways possible. We truly had the best time, we laughed so much, we were highly entertained, there's so much going on. I mean, between the sort of comedic performances in between, between, you know, all the acrobatics and the dancing and, and the singing, it was just, I mean, your typical Spiegel World variety show. Spiegel World knows how to do these shows. They know how to do them very, very well. Now, I first saw Absinthe probably a little over 10 years ago, back in 20, I wanna say 2013, 2012, 2013, somewhere around that time. Anyway, it's outside of Caesar. So if you've seen the show, very sort of similar type vibe. I would say probably even more vulgar, <laughs> more raunchy, um, but still just as awesome. You've seen me actually cover a couple different Speaker World shows on my channel. So we actually saw The Hook back in Atlantic City a few months ago. Uh, again, another great show. And we saw Opium um, actually last year as well at the Cosmopolitan, which unfortunately has since closed. So Speaker World only is offering, at the time of recording this video anyway, Atomic Saloon at the Venetian and Absinthe at Caesars Palace. That said, they are gonna be opening up a new show at the link called Disco Show. So I'm really excited to see that one because I haven't seen it yet. Obviously completely brand new and everything. So really excited for that one to come out. I believe it's scheduled to come out in the summer of 2024. Now what I loved about this show is the moment you walk in there, you're just sort of surrounded in this sort of saloon-esque environment you almost feel like you're in the you know the old wild west which we honestly thought was just so awesome you're sort of right into it right in the beginning um there's a couple little bars up there's one downstairs one upstairs we were sat upstairs so you know you're able to get cocktails from there they also do have servers coming around to serve you as well if you want like cocktails or popcorn or things like that 
You can start a tab, you can pay right just then and there, whatever you chose to do. At the beginning of the show as well, you also do have some of the actors coming out, walking around and interacting with you, which is, I love when they do that kind of thing. It really gets you into the show. I'm really excited to sort of get everything started. Now I did mention at the beginning of this video, I was gonna tell you how we managed to save some money. So I will say first and foremost, we did buy the cheapest tickets. This was sort of a last minute thing. We talked about going to see this show, but yesterday we had no plans. We thought, what's happening tonight? Let's go see Atomic Saloon. Um, the way we were able to save money, I think our tickets were originally priced at $99 plus, you know, all the service fees that come with it. We were able to get the tickets for about 70 bucks on Vegas.com. Now I will definitely recommend signing up for Vegas.com. You will get exclusive offers and additional offers on top of their discounts. So I believe if you get their emails, you will also get an additional 10% off of, you know, certain shows and things like that that they have going on. You also will get emailed offers and, you know, when different things go on sale and whatnot. So I'm not sponsored, not affiliated, at all just something i would recommend because of course i want to try and save you guys some money now what i love being in vegas you just never know when your luck is going to strike um one of the ushers said to us you know because we were in the, the cheap seats quote unquote so uh one of the ushers did actually offer if we wanted to upgrade and go and sit in our own little box so we just said okay how much is that going to be and she just said nothing but of course she couldn't give me a tip uh, for my trouble so we did not hesitate at all i mean we gave her i think about 10 bucks or whatever, just because it was, you know, nice of her to, to do that for us. But uh, yeah, it was nice to get a nice close seat. I will say we were on the balcony, uh, the bars on the top of the balcony were kind of in the way. So I did find myself kind of leaning over quite a lot to make sure I could actually see everything. It was a little bit in the way. I kind of wonder if maybe our original seats where we were sort of in front of the stage on the mezzanine might have been better, at least for views, but that's okay. Now, I don't want to ruin too much about the show, obviously, because again, at the end of the day, I do want you to see this show. I don't want to tell you too much and, you know, because there's no point in you going to see it. A uh, couple little maybe tips. Um, if you are maybe a little bit shy and don't really want to get too involved in the show, I'm going to suggest you don't sit in the front. Maybe you don't even sit in the floor at all. Maybe sit up in the mezzanine. I mean, we were, were still sort of called out even though we were on the mezzanine, but because, you know, we were close to the stage. Um, so we did get some interaction, of course. But uh, if you're going to be sitting on the floor, especially in the first row, you will definitely get some interaction. There really isn't a bad seat in the house though. I mean, it's a very small theater. I think there's like what, less than 200 seats or something in the entire place. Very small, very intimate, very interactive. So you're really not gonna get a bad seat in the house. Location wise, you are in the Grand Canal shop. So if you are in, I mean, they say it's in the Venetian. This really is closer to the Palazzo. You know that like love sign you see on the ground floor of the Palazzo. If you take the escalator up uh, one or two floors, that's where you're gonna actually find the theater for Atomic Saloon but is this spot right for you? Once again, as I said, if you are you know, easily offended, um, not gonna be a show for you. They, just, they touch on just about everything you can think of. There's mild nudity, like not full on nudity, but you're gonna see some stuff. Uh, it's definitely not for kids. I don't even think they would even allow children in there. It's definitely, definitely not for kids. It's definitely not family friendly. Um, you wanna definitely have a sense of humor. You are not gonna be, you know, it's not a good show for you if you are one of those people who's, you know, maybe easily offended or, um, yeah, they're, they're basically gonna make fun of anything and everything, which is kind of what I like. I don't like shows that sort of punch down. I really do appreciate a show that kind of just makes fun of everybody. Otherwise, just be prepared to, to have a good time, to have a laugh, um, be thoroughly entertained, be wowed, be amazed, just, all of it. Uh, it does look like there are you know, interchangeable actors for some of the roles as well. So, I mean, if you go and see the show for a second time, maybe it'll be slightly different from the first time you see it. I definitely would love to go again. I know that if we do come back to Vegas, well, we will be coming back to Vegas, but next time we come back to Vegas, it would definitely be on my list for uh, a show to see again. We really enjoyed it. Anyway, if I've missed anything, please do not hesitate to leave any questions below. Um, it's helpful for other travelers because they probably have the same questions as you do. It's helpful for me because any interaction you have with my videos is helpful for the algorithm, whether you're liking, commenting, sharing, etc. would really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to this channel, why aren't you subscribed to this channel yet? Uh, I'd really appreciate it. It's totally free for you. Really helps me keep living this free content to you. I really appreciate helping, uh, you know, this channel grow. If you have any your own like tips or comments or experiences from the show, leave them below as well. I did notice that some people were saying uh, from what I was reading not to sit on the stage because they have like little pews set up on the stage and some people were recommending don't sit there. I didn't really see any reason place from the show that we went to why you wouldn't want to sit there so anyway just leave your comments maybe your experiences below so other people can maybe read through and get some ideas or some tips for when they decide to book anyway once again this is Daniel Spotlight, right viva las vegas and we'll see you in the next one